border is secure, as the administration has said, then why would we need to send 1,500 active duty U.S. troops down there? It's a good question. Because we need more work. We need more work needs to be done, Peter. And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. We put forth a, a, a comprehensive immigration uh, uh, legislation, and Congress, of Republicans in Congress, can refuse to act. <coughs> wow, blaming the Republicans. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. It's just so maddening because you know that she'll get away with this because this is exactly what the rest of the media does, blame the Republicans. However, the truth of the matter is Republicans don't go along with Democrats on these things because Democrats always insert a bunch of things that have absolutely nothing to do with immigration reform. Just like the Inflation Reduction Act has absolutely nothing to do with reducing inflation. The fact of the matter is that Democrats had control of this country for two years and could have done something about immigration if they wanted to, but they didn't because they don't want to do anything about it. They want as many people flooding across the border as possible because they believe that this is going to be a powerful new voting block for the Democrat party that will keep them in perpetual power. And so the president has used the tools that he has in front of him uh, to, uh, to prepare ahead of uh, Title 42 lift as you know, that is happening uh, in, in the next couple of days. Right, which is going to cause even more illegal immigration across the border. Title 42 under Trump was keeping illegal immigrants in Mexico while they waited on their asylum cases, but now lifting it will bring all those people into this country, making a bad situation even worse. But yeah, it's all the Republicans' fault. You said yesterday that when it comes to illegal migration, you've seen it come down by more than 90%. Where did that number come from? It was, because I was CBP speaking. is telling us the number is. I hear you. I'm about to answer. I'm about, people more I'm about to this answer you. Year so if, far. You, <laughs> if you. If the dramatics could come down just a little bit. I, uh, it, if the dramatics could come down a little what's bit. What's dramatic about asking a question about. Okay. I'm, I'm going to answer. I'm sorry, he's being dramatic? All he's doing is fact-checking some disinformation that Karen Jean-Pierre was spreading yesterday. No, I'm, we're, we're, we're gonna go, we're gonna move. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, we're moving, Peter, let's go. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, we're, we're gonna go, we're gonna move. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Bet we're moving, Peter, let's go. <laughs> freaking real she wanted to get out of there as quick as possible obviously because she has no good responses to Ducey's fact check KJP did a lot of running today another reporter I'm not sure who asked her about Hunter Biden his child support and the fact that Joe Biden doesn't acknowledge one of his granddaughters and it went about as well uh, I wanted to ask about the trial going on in Arkansas with Hunter Biden and the child support are the president and first lady monitoring that and how come they haven't acknowledged the seventh grandchild I'm not gonna to speak to that from here. Go ahead. Why are you running? Why are you running? That's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share it, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.